skin, brown skin, white skin. You're a white supremacist. You are calling for genocide, which is the removal of over 50% of a population for women, because we're about 51%, and about 49, 48% of black men. You are trying to commit genocide. You are a white. Let me say it again. Calling for the extinction, removal, or trashing black women or black men is white supremacy. You are a white supremacist. I don't care if you have dark skin, light skin, brown skin, white skin. You're a white supremacist. You are calling for genocide, which is the removal of over 50% of a population for women, because we're about 51%, and about 49, 48% of black men. You are trying to commit genocide. You are a white. Let me say it again. Calling for the extinction, removal, or trashing black women or black men is white supremacy. You are a white supremacist. I don't care if you have dark skin, light skin, brown skin, white skin. You're a white supremacist. You are calling for genocide, which is the removal of over 50% of a population for women because we're about 51%. Okay, so, yes, yeah, so, no. Calling for black women to sell, um, seg segregate and separate themselves from black males is not genocide um this is again one of those moments where <clears throat> i wish i could pull a geneticist out of my pocket to explain to you that you do not need a black male as long as you have a black woman to continue black people see we are the beginning of mankind and we are the most important woman on the face of this earth genetically we have the ability to procreate and continue any race of people with just us and any other type of man so here's the thing black woman who seems to be very male identified right you're talking about genocide and you're talking about losing 50 percent. 50 percent of what there is no black community um are you talking about the more than 50 percent of black women that have been taken out of this life by black males, by the murder and killing of black femicide, not to mention all the little young black girls that they've also killed, uh, put into local prostitution, human trafficking, and everything else under the sun that a black male could deplorably do and dehumanize a black woman with? Is that what you're talking about? The 50% of those women? Or how about the 100% of those women? So here's the thing. How about you do more promotion of black women centering themselves and stop trying to save the black male who would never be out here trying to save you, okay? Um, every time you turn around, they're out here throwing every other woman in your face, telling the whole world they hate you, can't stand you, would never want to be with you, procreate with you, or even stand next to you. In addition to that, they spend a huge amount of their time with this insane hate speech propaganda against black women. So I'm really confused as to why you, as a black woman, would be out here trying to rally for black males who kill black women every day, every four to five hours of the day, horrifically take the lives of young black girls, and who sexually assault black children on a regular. This is not random. This is a regular, okay? And then you have the fact that they are the dumbest, most employed males of all mankind. They don't want to own up, take any accountability for their age inappropriate behavior and conduct. Okay? High proclivity to commit crimes. Refusal to even acknowledge that they have no impulse control or emotional intelligence and yet here you are visually on a video trying to tell other black women like myself and others that we should worry about genocide when the very people you're on here championing for and rallying for are the main ones taking the lives of black women i think that you need to go check the real definition of white genocide before you start pulling white people into the ill repute and insane practices of black males against black women so that you could be correct because their issues don't have shit to do with ours okay these black dudes are weird they're almost teetering on being unhuman and 
the way that they take the lives of black women and young black girls all over this country is something you need to be addressing. Not coming on here, regurgitating dumbass talking points from Cynthia G and other people who believe the nonsense she's talking. But how about you come on here with a message to promote the health, welfare, and safety of black women and little girls and how we should become way more self-centered and selfish and remove ourselves from worrying about them and begin to take care of us and our daughters so they can live trauma-free, sexual assault-free, human trafficking-free, young black childhood lives like other little girls in this country. Please don't come on here talking to black women about rallying and promoting and being the social justice warrior for black males. Stop doing that shit. If you're gonna try to rally black women for anything, let it be for their own protection, their own health and welfare, and their own benefit, All right? Save that caping for black males and trying to be their goddamn, um, I don't know, protector. Leave that shit wherever you are and keep it personally with yourself. Leave the rest of us alone with that whack, untrue, genetically unproven bullshit. Please stop it. We're black women. We could have black children with any man we pick. No genetics. Don't know personal emotional beliefs that you want to spew on us that are incorrect. Scientifically proven that it's not to be the correct, correct in any way. And, and overall, stop talking to us about shit that concerns black males. Come talk to black women about our sisterhood, our solidarity, us attending the Black Women's March in California in October to bring light, awareness, and recognition to black femicide. The very thing that black women are dying from every day from those very black males you are on here appealing to us for sympathy for. You not, We're not going and you're not going to get it. Get out of here with that. Come back and talk to us about black women for black women. Maybe we'll listen. Get out of here with that. Black femicide taking us out every four to five hours of the day. You coming on here talking about worrying about black males. Go away with that.